Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Friday, October 23rd, 2015, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Here's what's coming up tonight. Tonight. While the U.S. gives bailouts, Iceland puts dirty bankers in prison. Then, a former Planned Parenthood employee talks about the Texas clinic raids. And who watches The Watchmen? Well, Alex Jones, of course. That's next. All right, how you doing? Alex Jones, Infowars.com, and here visiting our buddies at Google. What are you guys about to do here tonight? Actually, uh, allow recording in here. Well, but Google told me in an update that it uses the camera and microphone to listen to me in my house. Well, God bless you, brother. Thank you. Well, thanks for putting up with me. Thank you. Appreciate it. A couple, couple listeners. All right, anyways. Listen, we care about humans. We are the resistance. Just remember, when the robots take all your family's jobs in a few years, we're here. We're here for the people. We're here for the humans. All right, we're standing up as hard as we can. Later, it's going to get bad. You'll you'll break the conditioning then. Okay. behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Well, they say if you jail the bankers, this whole New World Order scheme would come down like a house of cards. But while the U.S. and Europe were bailing out the crooks, Iceland did just that. In fact, Iceland has now sentenced another five high-level bankers to prison for directly contributing to the collapse of their country's economy in 2008. This brings the total to 26 corrupt bankers that Iceland has sent to prison, most of them being CEOs of large financial institutions rather than low-level traders. Now, most of those jailed will serve two to five years, and their crimes include market manipulation, embezzlement, and breach of fiduciary duties, all of which help to destroy their country's economy. Now, of course, these prosecutions have been possible because rather than protect the very institutions responsible for the collapse, they took them to task, they let them fail, and then they created a financial supervisory authority to strictly oversee the banks. But that's not here what we do in America. In America, they're just too big to jail. Iceland is the answer for the world. They were told they owed something like 85, 90 billion dollars. If you go back to the time six years ago, during the banker bailout at the end of 2008 globally, they just arrested their finance ministers, got all the documents, and found that they owed about four billion dollars or less. Uh, in fact, some estimates were less than a billion, but the point is they debated a billion, four billion was the max. Uh, some estimates were as low as 800 million. The point is 800 million to 4 billion. They've paid back several billion of it now with interest. And they've now arrested 26 corrupt bankers that were involved in the scam. It turns out the head finance minister had signed the government on to uh, big British, Swiss, and U.S. banks' debt that wasn't theirs. And why is that important? It's the exact same model here in the United States, in Greece, in Spain, in Portugal, uh, in uh, Italy, where the number is normally above 90% of the debt that we're signed on to is not ours. Just like we have 19 trillion of debt that's U.S. debt, but we've been signed on to way more other international obligations and things that aren't our debts. And then the bankers that basically honcho all this, they're able to get full control uh, over society. So there is that extremely important article up on InfoWars.com. In the U.S., Congress gave American banks a $700 billion TARP bailout at the expense of taxpayers. Not one banker in the U.S. has even been charged uh, with a crime relating to the financial collapse. There's still virtually no regulation of the banks. And in fact, they're now raking in record profits, uh, $160 billion annually, all from money that they create out of thin air. 
So this is, this is a common theme in our present day government, protecting the crooks. And just like that, there's also going to be no charges filed for Lois Lerner. Now, this is former IRS official Lois Lerner. They're not going to charge her or anyone else at the agency. They're just DOJ announced they're dropping the case. Now, let's not forget, Lois Lerner did the kind of things that Nixon was impeached for using the IRS to go against political foes. So she's going to face no charges and for targeting conservatives, and probably because if we actually could find those servers, we'd find that those uh, directives came from the very top of the Obama administration. Now, they do say that the probe found substantial evidence of mismanagement, poor judgment, and institutional inertia, leading to the belief by many tax-exempt applicants that the IRS targeted them based on their political viewpoints. But poor management is not a crime. So they were just too slow to process any of their applications. All of these people there are just crazy, thinking that they were specifically targeted. Uh, basically, they're saying our entire government would be in prison if mismanagement was a crime. The whole government is guilty of institutional inertia. And now this mismanagement, of course, is the exact same excuse used uh, when they were investigating what happened to that missing $6 billion from Hillary Clinton's State Department. It was also just, you know, they said that they were just really bad at doing their paperwork. Oh, well, forget about that money. And of course, that's who we need as president, someone who loses $6 billion. Now, speaking of getting away with criminal negligence, Hillary testified in front of the Benghazi committee yesterday. And if you've seen the videos, she laughed about going home to bed the night of the attacks. She all but blamed Ambassador Stevens for his own death, saying that he was in charge of his own safety. And she also said that she did not blame it on any video. So when it comes to Hillary's performance at the Benghazi committee hearing, a picture is worth a thousand words. Take a look at how the New York Times covered it uh, versus, say, another publication like the Wall Street Journal. They've got a picture of her there and they say uh, basically that Hillary, she, here she's smug and she let others do the yelling this time. Well, the Wall Street Journal showed some other pictures of what was really going on that day. Um, her just looking so smug, laughing. They omitted her two minute coughing fit. But that's that's all you really need to know about what the media is going to try and spin the Benghazi hearing. But here's all you need to know about Hillary's testimony from a mother of one of the victims in the Benghazi attack. With all due respect, the fact is we had four dead Americans. Was it I because understand. of a protest or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? It is our job to figure out what happened and do everything we can to prevent it from ever happening again, Senator. When you oh. heard that, what went through your mind? She's lying. She's absolutely lying. So is it finally time to see a revolution in this country or were, will people like Hillary and her crooked cronies remain too big to jail? Now, we're certainly seeing the elite start to scramble. We've reported many times before record profits there in the home security business. Paranoid super rich becoming obsessed with home security. Uh, Watson's got an article up on Infowars talking about how billionaires are splashing out on high tech panic rooms, blast proof windows, hidden spy cameras, all sorts of things to protect themselves, protect their riches, of course. But should they really be worried about soaring crime rates or is it something else? Are they beginning to realize that it's finally might be time to pay the piper? 74 combined years in prison. That's how Iceland's Supreme Court and the Reykjavik District Court respond to those responsible for Iceland's financial collapse. This brings the total to 26 bankers now behind bars in Iceland, with most being CEOs of large financial institutions rather than low-level traders. Most of those jailed will serve terms of two to five years, according to a report by Iceland Magazine, which notes that three executives at Landsbanken and two at Kalping, along with one prominent investor, have been prosecuted. Their crimes include market manipulation, embezzlement, and breach of fiduciary duties. Their market manipulation destroyed the country's economy, and to this day, Iceland is still having to repay the global loan sharks at the IMF, as well as governments of other countries, which kept the nation operating. 
Iceland Magazine explains that rather than protect and reward the very institutions responsible for the collapse and the blood-sucking vermin that run them, the Icelandic government let them collapse and then created a financial supervisory authority to strictly oversee the banks. Iceland's President Grimson noted, Why are the banks considered to be the holy churches of the modern economy? Why are private banks not like airlines and telecommunication companies and allowed to go bankrupt if they have been run in an irresponsible way? The theory that you have to bail out banks is a theory that you allow bankers enjoy for their own profit, their success, and then let ordinary people bear their failure through taxes and austerity. People in enlightened democracies are not going to accept that in the long run. Iceland's President Grimson explained their strategy. We were wise enough not to follow the traditional prevailing orthodoxies of the Western financial world in the last 30 years. We introduced currency controls. We let the banks fail. We provided support for the poor, and we didn't introduce austerity measures like you're seeing in Europe. While the country's economy is far from what it once was, it has stabilized and is in a position to recover. Meanwhile, the governments of the US and Europe bailed out most of those responsible for playing a direct role in the financial crisis that crippled the global economy. Hey, Come on, get up, make, make the first move, it's my show. Make the first move, yeah, get up, get up off your oh, butt. You think I'm yeah, go ahead, stand up, stand up. Stand, stand up, come on. Stand up. Yeah, I'll, 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 at the expense of the taxpayers. Not one banker in the U.S. has even been charged with a crime relating to the financial collapse. There is still virtually no regulation of the banks, and they are pulling in a near record $160 billion in annual profits, all for money created out of thin air. The Department of Justice, under Holder and now Lynch, continues to pretend to do the hard work associated with reining in the financial criminal banking institutions laundering drug cartel money but fines and even penalties don't send the message that the banksters received in Iceland. Jail the bankers, the ones at the top, and free the taxpayers. It may be the most important meme the people of the United States could ever support. Jailing the bankers would bring the New World Order down like a house of cards. We have a large house blend, please. All right, let me get that for you. Oh yeah, he's definitely one. I, I gotta ask you this, it's just a matter of national security. I'm an important person now. Is there a reason you're paying with cash? I don't understand how that's any of your business. I have, I have a couple 20s here, so I'm just gonna give you a 20. Is that cool? Oh my God, they're everywhere. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, hold on, I gotta get myself together. I'm kidding. John Bauer Bauer. for Infowars.com. Coming up later in the show, I'm going to be speaking with former Planned Parenthood director turned whistleblower, Abby Johnson. She's going to be joining me to discuss uh, the Texas raids yesterday on Planned Parenthood clinics. But first, today the House of Representatives has moved to defund Planned Parenthood. They've approved a bill that will use the reconciliation process to approve legislation to defund the Planned Parenthood abortion business. Uh, the bill is going to prohibit all federal mandatory funding for one year to abortion providers while the House continues its investigation into Planned Parenthood's activities. Now, of course, Planned Parenthood has recently announced that it's gonna stop selling aborted baby parts, although it will still harvest and donate them to science. Ah, but I thought nothing illegal was going down. We're going to talk about what's going on with Planned Parenthood investigation. Uh, we have Abby Johnson, a former Planned Parenthood employee. Uh, actually, she was a manager at one of the Planned Parenthoods, became a whistleblower. Uh, she's going to be with us in the fourth hour. And there's an interesting revelation that came out today in the House committee that is investigating the Planned Parenthood videos that were done by the undercover uh, investigation that was done by the Center for Medical Progress. And of course, the line of defense that Planned Parenthood came back with was, these are deceptively edited videos. So the House was investigating what appeared to be, very clearly if you watch the videos, it certainly